So let me get this straight. The police are accusing you of trying to murder Robert Ford. No, no not yet. He's he's still alive, but okay. it, it doesn't look good. He's in surgery. Hey, you know what? It's going to be all right. I'm going to represent you, Mark, okay? You will? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just, I didn't know where to go or no. who to turn to. It's okay. It's okay. Just tell me what happened. Why did the police think that you attacked Ford? Because I found out that Langston was... that she had been cheating on me with him. But we were at prom, and then Langston took off, and I didn't even know, because I was busy looking through some footage on my camera. What footage? Oh, uh, it was... Destiny Evans saying that she saw Langston kiss Ford, and when I asked her about it, she said it was true. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? I couldn't find Langston, so I went looking for her at Ford's place. Oh my God. I can't believe that you would do this to me. I would never do this to you. And they were together, and I just, I lost it. Is that how you got that? Yeah, I hit him pretty hard. <laughs> And how bad did the fight get? It, it, it could have been a lot worse. No, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Leave him alone! I just stepped in and broke it up. Mm -hmm. And how was Robert Ford at that point? He, he was fine. When I left, he was walking and talking. I blew her off and I slept here. Marco, I am so sorry. I know how much you loved her. It's gonna be all right, okay? You did the right thing coming to me, okay? Okay. Now, have you talked to the police? I told them everything I just told you. And nothing else? What? I lied to them. Thank you very much for coming in. We will be in touch. Mayor, if you could take a seat outside. No, thank you. I'll stay in here. It's all right, Dorian. Langston is here to give a statement, Lieutenant, not an interview. If you have further questions, we can certainly schedule a meeting in the future. But right now, Langston is struggling to cope with the news that someone she cared about very deeply is fighting for his life. Yeah, okay, take a seat. Statement by Langston Wild, May 28, 2010. Hey, Langston, you got something to say? Say it. I'm sorry, I resent that intimidating tone. Oh, here, please. This is protocol. We want to make sure we're all on the same page. But that this is hardly necessary. I'll make sure your office gets a copy. No, it's, it's okay. I, I don't have anything to hide. The last time I saw Ford, Robert Ford, was last night. Where? Uh, no, no questions, Lieutenant. Thank you. At his apartment. I went over there to see him, and then my boyfriend, Marco Rivera, showed up and found us there together. It was just a big mess, and we were all yelling and upset, and Marco left, and then Ford broke up with me, so I left, and I went back to our apartment, and I saw Marco there, and we got in a pretty huge fight, and he stormed off, and then... But yeah, that's, that's all we have to say at this point. Langston? Yeah. I'm done. Lieutenant, we will cooperate with your investigation in any way we can. But Good day. Brody, you got company on the way. Move the search along and get the hell out of there. We lied to the police. I know why. It was stupid, I know, but I just I, I panicked. They were they were all over me. Okay, okay. Marco, it's all right. From now on, I will handle the police. But I need to know the truth. 
What did you lie about? They wanted to know my whereabouts. So I told them, you know, that, that after I left the apartment, I came here and that I stayed here for the rest of the night. Only I, I didn't. I left and I went back to Ford's place. I'm the mayor of this town. What is the commissioner doing that is more important than talking to me? Will you tell him for me that I am most displeased? Look at this place. This is unconscionable. I mean, really. All of this was happening while my daughter was voluntarily giving a statement to the police? I tell you, I want, I want an apology from them before the end of the day. No, better yet. I want that and I want you to sue them. Yes, for violating my daughter's rights and, and for destroying her property. Unfortunately, they were within their rights. What about my daughter's rights? They had this warrant to search the apartment, Dorian. I, I, and it I, checks out. I thought that you were on my family's side. I am. I am trying to protect your daughter and you from any suggestion of interference or cronyism. Now, let's calm down. It's obvious the police still have no evidence against Langston connecting her to the crime, or they'd be here with an arrest warrant. Okay. Langston, I would like you to come home with me, please. No, I, I, I can't leave the apartment like this. Oh, don't be silly. I'll get a cleaning crew, and they'll take no, care no, of no, everything. No. Dorian, I need to do this. If the police come, you will call me, won't you? Yeah, I will. If you need me, you know where to find me. Okay. Dorian. I really do appreciate everything you've done, both of you. But, Dorian, it's okay. I got it from here. If anything does happen, you call me first. I will call him. Okay. We got a piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. I think I have a good idea about where we'll find the next piece. Here's what you do. I don't know. Okay, you went back to Ford's apartment. Why? I was so angry. I kept going over it in my head. Why didn't I know? Why didn't I see it? Why didn't I know that she was cheating on me? And then I started to think, Maybe the whole thing was a lie. You know, maybe she never loved me. Maybe she was just marking down the days until someone like Ford came along. I started to go crazy, and I had to get out of here. And the next thing you know, I'm at Ford's apartment sitting in the parking lot, just thinking, thinking about how Ford stole Langston from me, about how he stole our whole history together. What did you do? 